Greetings. Welcome back to IBI India Business Insights. Today, we are going to look at the early history of telecommunication, particularly in India. Before we move further, hit the bell icon to subscribe to India Business Insights and stay tuned to many more insightful videos. The timeline here gives us a quick overview of how telecom has evolved since ancient times. In the 4th century, people used hydraulic semaphores for communication. and in the 15th century they used maritime flag semaphores the first experimental acoustic telephone was invented in 1672 semaphore lines in 1790 the electric telegraph in 1838 and the electric telephone in the year 1876 the acoustic phonograph was invented in 1877 and wireless telegraphy in 1893 The first long distance wireless transmission gave us the radio in the year 1896 and the television was invented in 1927. The first commercial radio telephone service between the USA and Japan took place in 1934. In 1962, commercial telecommunication satellites were invented and computer networking in the year 1969. 1G spectrum was first introduced in Tokyo, Japan in the year 1979, the first mobile phone network in the year 1981, and the first commercially available cell phone which was introduced by Motorola in 1983. The internet was discovered in the year 1983 as well. The 2G spectrum was launched in Finland in 1991, and the first mobile satellite handheld phones were introduced in 1998. The 3G spectrum was launched in Japan by NTT Docomo in 2001. The VoIP internet telephony was introduced in 2003, and the first ever iPhone was introduced in the year 2007. 4G spectrum was introduced for commercial purposes only in Norway, and the 5G spectrum was first offered by many South Korean telecom providers, namely KT, LG U+, and SK Telecom in the year 2019. The beginning of telecommunications can be traced back to the time when people used smoke signals and drums. Homing pigeons, also known as the messenger pigeons, have always been used throughout history by people of different cultures for communication purposes. In the 4th century, the Greek hydraulic semaphore systems were used as a mode of communication by people, and the last commercial line of semaphore was abandoned only in the 1880s. While semaphores served the need for quick long distance communication they suffered from the need for skilled operators and expensive towers at the intervals of only 10 to 30 kilometers while semaphores were an interesting way to communicate the history of telecom as we know it today started with the electric telegraph in about 1726 experiments on communication with electricity started even though many of them were initially unsuccessful In 1816 the first working telegraph was built by Francis Ronalds. The electric telephone was invented in the 1870s and the first commercial telephone services were set up in 1878 and 1879. Alexander Graham Bell held the master patent for the telephone needed for such services in various countries. In the 1890s The idea of radio was first developed by Marconi and his ideas finally took shape in the year 1985. Electronic television was first successfully demonstrated in 1927. Public broadcasting networks for both radio and television were created fairly quickly. Because of the wide adoption of semiconductor devices in telecommunication, the modern period of telecommunication history from 1950 onwards is referred to as the semiconductor era there was rapid growth in the telecom industry towards the end of the 20th century primarily due to the introduction of digital signal processing in wireless communications numerous inventions such as satellites computer networks and the internet and digital telephone technology took place during this era The wireless revolution began in the 1990s with the advent of digital wireless networks leading to a social revolution and a paradigm shift from wired to wireless technology including the upsurge of commercial wireless technologies such as cell phones mobile telephony wireless computer networks cellular networks the wireless internet laptop and handheld computers with wireless connections 
Telecom is a significant component of the infrastructure and has always played a vital role in the socio-economic development of the country by raising the standard of living, narrowing the rural-urban divide, increasing transparency of governance and so on. Now that was how the telecom industry was born and how it set a strong foothold worldwide. Now let's dig a little deeper to find out when and how did this industry flourish in India. The telegraph's invention marked the beginning of telecommunications in India. India's telecommunications sector is one of the oldest in the world. Being a British colony, both telegraph and telephones were introduced in India soon after the first telegraph lines in the United Kingdom and the USA. In 1850, the first experimental telegraph line was put into operation between Calcutta and Diamond Harbour. and in 1851 it was opened for use by the british east india company in november 1853 the construction of 4000 miles of telegraph lines began another division was opened in 1854 when the telegraph facility was opened to the public in 1880 two telephone companies the oriental telephone company and the anglo indian telephone company limited approached the government of india to set up a telephone exchange but the permits were denied on the grounds that telephone installation is a state monopoly and the government would itself do the work but later in 1881 the government reversed its earlier decision and gave the british oriental telephone company permission to open telephone exchanges in calcutta bombay madras and ahmedabad establishing the first formal telephone service in the country on 28 january 1882 calcutta bombay and madras telephone exchanges were opened known as the central exchange the calcutta exchange had a total of 93 subscribers in its early days here's a timeline that shows the major milestones in the history of indian telecom industry the first formal telephone service was established in 1882 the cable telegraph was founded in the pre 1901 and the first wireless telegraph station was established in 1902 The radio telegraph system between UK and India was established in 1927. The radio telephone system was inaugurated in 1993 and the first ever TV transmitter was installed in the year 1951. The first PCO was installed in India in the 1960s. The first ever PCM system was commissioned in 1975 and first satellite earth station for domestic communications was established in 1980. The first cellular service was launched in Calcutta on 31st August 1995 and the internet was also introduced in the year 1995. The 3G and 4G spectrums were auctioned in 2010 in India. The 2G internet spectrum was auctioned in the year 2012 and the 5G spectrum was auctioned this year only that is 2022. Now let us talk about how and when radio and television broadcasting was started in India. Radio broadcasting was started in 1927 but it became a state responsibility only in 1930. It was given the name All India Radio in 1937 and since 1957 it has been called Akashwan. The limited duration of television programming began in 1959 and its complete broadcasting was followed in 1965. Prior to the 1991 economic reforms The Ministry of Information and Broadcasting owned and operated the nation's audiovisual infrastructure including the television network Doordarshan. After gaining independence in 1947 under Jawaharlal Nehru's post-independence socialist policies, foreign telecommunication companies were nationalized. In the year 1978, Telecom Consultants India was set up to discharge the responsibility of providing telecom services in foreign countries. PCO in India was inspired by the model of public telephone boxes which were operational in the United Kingdom. The first PCO was installed in the 1960s in India. A telephone booth with ISD, STD and PCO written in black blocks on its yellow walls was one short-lived yet a very nostalgic industry. The telecom revolution of India as envisioned in the early 90s made the Department of Telecommunication come up with this unique idea of connecting India. From the mid 90s to the late 90s India used to talk through these telephone booths 
The introduction of these boots was a revolution and saw quick adoption in every city. ISD, that is International Subscriber Dialing, stands for International Calls, STD or Subscriber Trunk Dialing for Interstate Calls and PCOs for Local Calls. The late 90s saw the arrival of private telecom companies which slowly made STD boots costlier than cell phones for making most of the calls. Further inflexibility of the Department of Telecommunications saw these boots started getting dumped by people and opting for mobile phones to make STD calls. But the next phase of telecom revolution made cell phone calls and the cell phones go cheaper. The rates of intra-city and inter-city calls came down rapidly, hence the necessity of these boots was gone. And this sector of the industry unfortunately saw a slow death. The celebrated rate cut of 2003 by BSNL was the last nail in the coffin for the industry. The rate of Mumbai to Delhi calls came down from rupees 24 to rupees 9 to as low as rupees 4 at a non-peak time through mobile. During the 1980s, it became evident that the Indian economy was lagging behind its East and Southeast Asian neighbours. The governments of Indira Gandhi and subsequently Rajiv Gandhi began pursuing liberalisation. The governments loosened restrictions on business creation and import controls while also promoting the growth of telecommunications and software industries. The performance of India's telecommunications sector was slow until the mid-1980s. The main reason for this poor performance was a view that telephones were considered a luxury rather than a necessity. The other reason was the dominance of state-run telecommunications with no competitive pressure for originality in telecommunication, products, services and pricing. The Centre for the Development of Telematics was established in 1984 to promote research and development of indigenous technologies in the field of telecom. Sam Petroda started the CDOT as an autonomous telecom R&D organisation. In the initial years, there was a telecom revolution in rural India that was responsible for all-round socio-economic development from global connectivity. Beginning with digital switching systems such as SBM and MAX, CDOT technology spread across the country through its licensed manufacturers. CDOT also developed products for optical satellite and wireless communication from circuit switching technology, ATM and next-generation networks. Later, CDOT projects included central monitoring system for telecom security for the Indian government. Presently, CDOT is implementing the common alerting protocol in India to send out early warnings to the public through mobiles. CAP enables the dissemination of messages to the target population without the intervention of service providers. The state of Kerala has used the platform effectively to send out as many as 11.4 lakhs precautionary messages during the floods. The government of Kerala used it again when Cyclone Gaja crossed over Kerala. In 1985, the Department of Telecommunications was set up to provide domestic and long-distance telephone services. The DOT formulated development policies and projects for the accelerated growth of telecommunication services. On 1st April 1986, the Government of India established MTNL and it was incorporated as a limited company to manage and control telecommunication services in the two metropolitan cities of Delhi and Mumbai. The vision of the company was to provide world-class telecom services at affordable rates and ultimately become a total solution provider in the telecom sector of India. MTNL had enjoyed a monopoly till 2000 in the two metro cities of Delhi and Mumbai, where it operated. Since then, the private operators have started providing services in every part of the country. On 23rd October 2019, the Government of India decided to merge MTNL with BSNL. In 1986, the Government established VSNL for International Telephone Services. Under the chairmanship of BK Single, VSNL launched the first publicly available internet plan in India in 1995. On 13th February 2008, VSNL was completely acquired by the Tata Group and renamed as Tata Communications. Even though all the major cities and towns in the country were linked with telephones during the British period, the total number of telephones in 1948 numbered only around 80,000. 
But the number of telephones grew leisurely to 9,80,000 in 1971, 2.15 million in 1981, and 5.07 million in 1991, the year economic reforms were initiated in the country. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with another video on the Indian telecom sector very soon. We hope that this video was insightful for you. If you liked it, let us know in the comment section below.